welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Friends, today we're going to continue to think on this past Sunday's sermon and the truth of who God is, the truth of what God does, and today we're going to think on the truth of what God has done. Uh, when I first started working on the sermon for this past Sunday, I uh, really had it as uh, three points, um, what God does, and I was going to include this in uh, this third point, what ended up being the third point of the sermon as part of uh, the same thing in God Does Good, uh, but it really is worth noting and worth spending some time meditating on and thinking on and applying uh, to our lives that God has done the greatest thing ever. God has sent his son to redeem sinners, to turn wicked men from their ways and to make them into his righteous servants, uh, in, imputed with his righteousness and walking in by faith in his righteousness. Uh, this is a glorious truth, and this is a truth that we should find as an anchor to our souls in all times. When there are times of chaos, when you don't understand how the trials are working together, when you don't even understand the right way to proceed, you can anchor yourself in the truth that God has redeemed his people, and he will win in the end. He is working all of these things together to bring his perfect redemptive plan to pass. And so let us rejoice in the truth of the gospel. Let us find hope in the truth of the gospel. Let us remember that while the gospel is not our only weapon in the warfare that we fight in this world, it is our best weapon. And so let us spend some time today meditating on the truth of the gospel, praising the Lord for the gospel, praising the Lord uh, that it is the power to save. As I encourage you on Sunday um, from reading uh, some things of Ronald Reagan after his uh, own uh, failed assassination attempt, it drew him closer to the Lord. And we know that the power of the gospel has uh, the power to save anyone. And so let me encourage you, pray that the Lord would use this to draw President Trump to himself, uh, to cause him even to repent of some of the poor decisions he's made lately with regard to uh, abortion, gay marriage, things like that. Pray that the gospel would ring forth in his thinking in these days. Um, it is clear that the Lord has brought him uh, to consider matters of life and death. And really a lot of politicians, a lot of media people, it seems like a lot of people are thinking about matters of life and death. Pray that the Lord would give you opportunity to speak to those in your life and give other Christians opportunity to speak to those in their life the truth of the gospel in this situation and how it can save their eternal souls and how it can reorient their lives to truth and justice. This is what we want to uh, be motivated by. This is what we want to be anchored in as we walk by faith in the gospel. So spend some time meditating on the gospel today. Spend some time praying that the Lord would use this situation where people are thinking about life and death to produce gospel fruit. Pray that the Lord would do as he promised. And we know the answer to that is yes and amen, that the gospel would be on the march to accomplish what the Lord has intended it to accomplish. I pray this is a great encouragement to you today and sweet meditation as you go throughout your day. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Grace Today. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church of Elgin, Texas, and how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.